what's going on people this is your boy infamous and today we're talking about the new batman game i have some information coming from this 4chan leak i did cover some stuff talking about injustice 3 and if you haven't seen that video make sure you do check out that video here's the thumbnail for it i'll have a link to that in the description down below for you guys man so i want to talk about the new batman game so let's let's just dive in let's just dive in right so talking about what they have here because this is supposed to be the plans for wb for the e3 2020 conference uh it says batman 2020 roger craig smith and troy baker return soft reboot no arkham title ignores previous plots okay very interesting very interesting gameplay and mechanics from arkham knight carry over so similar gameplay similar mechanics to that robin nightwing batgirl are all playable which we have been hearing about through rumors and leaks that the bat family will be a playable segment of the game i'm guessing that robin will most likely be tim drake so i'm kind of liking where this is going largest open world gotham city yet vehicles are in but no vehicle battles which i know a lot of people really hated the whole tank battles i just hated them for the missions i didn't hate it for the story because they added a twist on from just doing the you know steady kind of stealth fighting it was a nice change up i did like it overall some villains include joker which you gotta have harley quinn court of owls which has been super rumored raz al ghul or Raish al ghul whatever you like to say penguin riddler doll maker clock king and black mask late fall 2020 20. so this is very interesting so i want to first start off by you know kind of talking about the very beginning right so roger craig smith and troy baker return um this is not happening because i have a post right here where actually roger craig smith actually talked about how he is not coming back so it looks like we have the arkham inquirer who actually said hey i'm pretty sure that roger you know kind of confirmed that he was not involved in the next batman game because he's doing other stuff uh, and he said, thank you. Like, I'm not involved in that. Like, I'm not involved with the Batman game at all. Unless he's trolling us, which is always a possibility with different actors and voice actors and stuff like that. But at the same time, if this is like true as far as the tweet goes this is already 100 false this is already 100 false now i could feel like aspects of it could be real like the soft reboot we have heard a lot about that the no arkham title um you know and kind of ignoring all the previous stories because of course if it's going to be a soft reboot it's not going to bring any of those factors back into this game it might be some easter eggs but nothing nothing too serious now we've also heard the confirmation or kind of rumors i'll keep saying here uh with you know robin nightwing batgirl the bat family characters being fully playable between them and batman so i feel like that part seems to be a, a central focus of the game and i'm hoping i'm hoping that's 100 percent true because i would love to play more as nightwing he's my favorite dc character i would love to play as him largest open world yet which i kind of would hope to be true as you know you know arkham knight was freaking huge it was it was amazing but even bigger than that that's fan freaking tastic vehicles were coming back i know a lot of people were just kind of not filling the tanks like i said earlier so i would love to see more vehicles to just kind of free room around the city maybe even have bat bikes for rob and nightwing those characters like that and of course having some of those iconic villains like joker harley quinn which is an absolute must but the one that really gets me excited is the court of owls so this has been a name of villains that we've been hearing kind of being thrown around for the batman game so so I definitely want to see how that plays into the story. Now, I feel like if they do Court of Owls, they don't need to do Penguin. I don't think they need to do Riddler or Dollmaker. Well, Riddler because of the Riddler missions, maybe, of course. But they can kind of pull back as the story can maybe focus on tying in Joker, Harley Quinn, kind of messing with us while the Court of Owls is the main villain of the story. And then we can focus back in on, like, you know, the, the, the you know, the gallery of rogues that he has uh over in the bat family so overall man this is pretty exciting news i'm hoping some of it's true obviously the biggest thing that's really making this 100 percent false is the roger craig smith section of it because he's already confirmed that he's not in the batman game again if he's not trolling us like like roger don't don't do that to us man anyways if you guys are excited for the content you want to see more of the batman coverage you want to get hyped for batman let me know in the comments down below what you guys think at home if this has been debunked like i don't know maybe i'm just laying on the content so i do apologize and again take everything with a grain of salt because nothing is 100 percent confirmed also check out that injustice video too and uh yeah thank you guys for watching this has been your boy infamous let's cover more batman and i am out